especially with all the hardware limitations which laptop players experience, it's always super hard to squeeze out the last bit of performance. But in today's video, I'm going to show you a whole entire routine which I would recommend you to fulfill guys if you want to go for maximum performance on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop. It literally doesn't matter guys, it works for both here, so don't be worried there. And I'm just gonna show you straight up which programs I would utilize and which changes I would do myself on my laptop to literally gain max FPS and the least amount of input delay. And if you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Hey yeah guys, in today's video we're going to take a look at two specific programs and especially also my fully optimized game user settings for laptop players in Fortnite Chapter 3 and you can find all three of these here straight up on my Discord guys, it's going to be the first link, just simply join there and you can find all these programs. If you have any issues finding them, just simply ask in the chat guys. And we are of course first of all going to take a look here at WiseCap 365 which I already installed here on my PC so therefore I'm obviously not going to install it here again but yeah just simply here open up the installer, you know click here on the install and then it's going to install here on your PC. But since I already got it, I'm just gonna launch it here real quick in the background. And you can see we have a really cool feature here, which is called System Cleaner. And we can actually do registry cleans, which is also gonna help us to fix any sort of missing files on our PC, or I don't know, fix some DLL files or some other temporary files, which are just unnecessarily on our PC, slowing it down, which is gonna make a huge difference, especially on a laptop, guys. So therefore, we're just gonna click here onto scan, and you can see it's gonna scan now everything on my PC. And it already found 48 issues, 47, 40, 60, 10, 38 you can see tons of like missing files or stuff like that and now we're gonna go on to clean here and you can see cleanup is complete 849 items were found which were either corrupted or not working properly or just simply were like um, unnecessarily you know let's just say that you get like a new Windows update and you have like duplicated files on your PC it's just gonna delete them you know it's a nice thing then we're gonna click here on the common cleaner we can scan here one more time as well where it's gonna scan here now for system tray or cache files and you can see that we have actually over 12,000 files here which add up a total of 41 gigabytes which we're just gonna clean here real quick in the background and yeah it shouldn't take like too long guys you can see now everything is getting deleted and yeah it's gonna go here also for like uh, I don't know your browser stuff like that where you have temporary data and you can see that I actually freed up 41 gigabytes this is crazy guys then we're gonna go into advanced cleaner and here we could theoretically also go through like each and every single volume or disk here on my PC but I'm not gonna do that right now here because we don't need it um, I just did that recently but you can of course do this extra step as well and for the rest I would just simply leave it like that you can also go here on your PC check up real quick which is gonna just like overall make sure that everything is set up properly as you can see guys we have some uh, useless files or stuff like that it's just gonna find like all the issues on your PC you can just fix them here real quick with one click you know let's just say that you have a missing driver or some other stuff which is slowing down your PC this program is just great overall and after we're done with everything guys we can straight up already deinstall it because we don't need it so we're just gonna open up the control panel you know go here onto programs program and features and then we should see now a list with like all the programs here on our PC and we're just gonna scroll down it should be somewhere here Vice Care Center there you can see it already guys we're gonna click here on to uninstall and actually straight up uninstalled here from our PC if you want to delete everything of course guys because yeah there's just like a process which you could do theoretically there's just like a process which you should do every like I don't know two to three months just to make sure that your PC is running at its maximum you know and once we're done with that, we can already also here actually delete the installation file and let's continue with the next step. So guys, and next up we're gonna take a look here actually at Park Control because this is a great tool in my opinion guys. Just simply click here onto it again, click onto English or whatever language you want, press OK and it's gonna install it here onto your PC. But since I already got it, I'm just gonna launch it here. And what this tool pretty much does it, it makes sure that you have no parked cores and that your CPU is running at 100% in terms of gaming. You can see right now that I have a 16 core CPU, which is currently running at 3.59 gigahertz since I'm using a Ryzen, you know, like AMD is usually not going that high, but you get like really good performance for the price. Um, I can only really um, recommend Ryzen processors, but you can see a CPU settings for power profile is currently on balance. And we have some other ones here guys, something like High Performance, Quick CPU Regime, Razer Cortex Power Plant, but which one I would recommend you is 100% the Bitsim highest performance one. Because this one is gonna make sure that all your CPU cores are running at 100%, that you have no park cores or whatsoever, you can see it disabled, disabled, everything on 100%, and we're just gonna click on to apply guys. And you can see already in the graph that all of our CPU cores are working way harder right now, yeah, they're just running at 100%, or, or, or basically set at a higher speed when it comes down to gaming. But what you want to do now, once you enabled it pretty much guys, is you have to click here onto power options and it's going to straight up go here into your power plants. And there you can see under hide additional plants, you know, like usually for you it should be something like this. 
um, then you're just gonna click here onto the small arrow and they can see now the Bitsum highest performance mode provides Bitsum optimized CPU performance, which we just put on 100%. So therefore guys, please make sure this one is selected. Otherwise you didn't apply it correctly because as you can see, it was slow for me here on balance, you know, on stock. And they can see now Bitsum highest performance one is enabled so you can close this and actually also um, close this program here you don't have to leave it open in the background guys this is super important this is like a one thing which is going to get installed this is like a one-time thing which is going to get installed so therefore don't be worried you can straight up uninstall this program here as well if you want and i would say that we're now going to move over to the next step and yeah guys for the final part i'm also going to show you now how to apply successfully my game user settings which are already fully optimized for your laptop guys so pretty much what you want to do is get this file of course from my discord then just simply drag those new game user settings here onto your desktop and we can also straight up open them actually real quick and just go down because i can show you which stretch resolution i actually applied here i actually applied 1280 80 times 768 because this is like supported by most laptops it doesn't really matter guys if you have like a 16 to 9 or 16 to 10 screen so therefore it really will work for anyone and what you want to do afterwards is open up your windows search bar and just simply type in presenter 10 presenter open up the first file then we're going to click onto local press f on our keyboard until we find fortnite game save config windows client and there we can see now our old game user settings and if you guys want to keep them, there's actually a super easy way, guys. Just simply right click onto it and actually go into compress the zip file. Then you can just like save them here on your desktop, you know. You don't have to like fully delete them. Then you can just simply delete all game user settings and track those new ones in there. And yeah, we can just open it one more time here. Again, real quick check. Everything is applied exactly as it should be. You know what I'm saying, guys. Right click onto it, go into properties and actually make sure that you put the attribute read only onto it. If it isn't enabled, guys, you might maybe accidentally change it when you're like in Fortnite, you know, you're just like messing around with something and you might accidentally actually change it back to like native 1080p. So therefore, please keep it here on read only, press OK. And once you're done with that, you're just simply gonna close this and launch your Fortnite and enjoy having the best game user settings for your laptop. And I just want to mention guys real quick that I'm actually now utilizing my Lestripes Shorts channel to promote some content guys where I'm going to show you everything about YouTube growth, how to gain views and subscribers and overall how to be successful on YouTube. So if you guys maybe want to check out that one this would help me with so much and at the time point guys where this channel is going to hit 1000 subscribers I'm going to upload educational YouTube growth content every single week and I'm just going to ask here my community what you guys want to see over there on this channel and cover that topic. I already got tons of high quality videos on the channel so please guys make sure to check it out and with that said we're done here and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace Diamond Gucci Link, come take a dive